don't even know what it's called. Okay, stop recording. House goals. Hashtag house goals. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a very happy day today. I am starting a new series on my channel, and I thought I would bring you guys along with me to make cash envelopes. And I actually have a guest on today. So would you like to say hi? Hi. Viviana is here helping me today to make cash envelopes. And so what we'll be doing is making cash envelopes and you guys will see the entire process and probably answering some questions that you guys have. I did post a question box on Instagram, as you guys can see here. So here's my Instagram. Yeah, so for those of you that did request a question to be in the video, that's what we'll be doing today. But before we get started, I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. And for those of you that don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community for people who want to learn from educational videos. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for all types of people on all types of topics, including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. I remember when they reached out to me, I knew of them, but I wasn't aware of the huge variety of classes that they actually had. And most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons, and they have classes to fit your schedule and your skill level, whether you're a beginner or a pro. Now, some of you might be asking, but Brie, how much is all of this? You might be surprised to learn that it's under $10 a month. Definitely Brie approved. For a limited time, use my link to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. You can find that link in the description box down below. And please let me know if any of you decide to sign up. And if you're interested in winning a free set of cash envelopes, all you have to do is screenshot once you sign up. And you can either DM me that screenshot at budgetwithbree on Instagram or email me your screenshot at budgetwithbree at gmail.com. Good luck to all of you. And once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into it. Viv and I are going to go ahead and detach all of this paper in here. So these are the patterns for the next cash envelope sets. And you guys will see them more closely throughout the video. We'll just be doing that. I was telling Chris that I want to remake my cash envelopes because I want to use these. Oh, a new set for you? Yeah, but I just made a new set not too long ago. Okay, I do not care as like nice as you do. <laughs> You guys, look, it's bunnies. Should I remake Clover's cash envelope to this one or should I keep mine? Oh, these are the last ones. Okay, well that took a little bit of time. <laughs> and now we're just gonna go through and go ahead and organize this as best we can really quick. Okay, and here we have it. So these are going to be the new cash envelopes and I'm just gonna set this to the side. Okay, so I have my swing line paper cutter here and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut this out of the video. I will show you guys one paper just so you guys have an idea of what we're doing to this entire stack. But yeah, we're just gonna cut this out because one, it's too loud and... It's a lot of paper. Yeah, it's, it's way too much, okay. <laughs> So we're just gonna go ahead and cut it at five inches. And this is the paper that I use for thank you cards and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to the side. And once I have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at six inches. And that gives me two cash envelopes that will fold later and you guys will see that later. So Viv and I are just gonna be doing that and We'll be back. Okay, everyone. That took a long time. Forever. <laughs> Forever, right? Okay, so now that we're finally done cutting all of this paper, it's time to fold. So we're going to go ahead and start. So this wasn't a question, but like how we met, just in case you want to know. We met at our old job. Our old job, yeah. Which I don't think anyone knows this, but I was a library assistant for a bit. <laughs> That's where Viv and I met. And we worked really well together. I loved working with you. I know. And Viv I miss left it. first, and then I left. Yeah, I miss it too. I miss doing what we did, mm -hmm. but not all of the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
all the best. So when I first started doing cash envelopes and budgeting, I remember I like sat this down and I was so excited about like this new budgeting thing that I heard of. I remember I was like, do you want to go through your budget? We were at work. <laughs> We were at work and we just sat down and we did, huh? We made your budget there at work? We did, yeah. And then we also made cash envelopes for her to have. And do you still have the same ones? I do. You do? When we had that job, both Viv and I would... <laughs> <laughs> we worked for Postmates. And when you work for like Postmates or Uber Eats or DoorDash or all of those, you rely on tips heavily. Because I remember looking back like at... The account and everything and it's like if people don't tip you barely make back like gas money sometimes yeah not even yeah it's horrible so even if you guys give like a dollar a dollar two. yeah it really changes everything one of my highlights though for sure was that time that you went with me <laughs> and it was like was it past midnight yeah it was i just know it was super late do you remember what they got jack in the box right it was jack in the box jack in the box <laughs> Always Jack in the Box. Always Jack in the Box. And we got, we picked up their order and we went to the house and this was like in a city far away from like where I live. Nobody Not gonna lie, it was kind of sketch. It was, <laughs> it was a little sketch, yes, I agree. And I remember we picked up the order, we went, at first I think we got it, we were kind of like, oh no, because he wasn't replying. Because usually I'll always text like the people and say, oh, I just got your food, I'm on my way. So they like mm -hmm. know the status, you know? He already wasn't replying, but mm -hmm. I just thought, cause some people don't reply. So we go and then we're waiting. The house is dark. The, the street, street was dark. dark. Yeah, so we were kind of just waiting till we saw him and then we were gonna. Yeah. But he wasn't there. So then we started calling and there was no answer. I don't even know how many times I called and texted. So on Postmates, if the person doesn't answer, you can hit this button and it makes you wait for like a whole five minutes. Mm -hmm. And if they don't answer, they say to like dispose of the food. And I remember Viv and I were like, oh, <gasps> <laughs> we got free food <laughs> it was we were literally watching it count down staring at the door looking yeah. back at the counter looking back at the yeah, door for sure we were so excited though yeah that was that was fun but and then imagine waking up and being like oh my god my post <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you guys ask, like, what can I do for extra income? Like, I think that was one of the questions, too. Like, oh, what are some little side jobs? And honestly, like, I would have recommended, like, Postmates and Reese, but to me, it's really not worth it. It's not. One, you're paying for all of the gas and any car maintenance that you get out of pocket. Yeah. Um, so that alone you have to think about. Um, mm -hmm. Mileage on your car is also yeah you know adding wear and i did add a lot of i mean not a crazy amount but i did add some miles to to my car mm -hmm. you know doing it and a lot of the time one order really didn't even cover like one gallon of gas at the time especially where we live gas can be pretty expensive sometimes so it, it you almost have to make it a full-time job really to yeah maybe make a, mm -hmm. a lot of money maybe if you're it. doing it full-time it's mm -hmm. worth it but we never did it full-time. So. No, I mean, we were working in, in school, so it just wasn't. Yeah. So, Viv, do you still budget your money? Um... <laughs> We're gonna get through a little bit more of these and then we will come back to you guys. So how long have you been budgeting? Um, I started my channel in January of 2019 and i know i had started a little bit before that like even in mm -hmm. january i was still fairly new but at the most it was like six months before that so maybe mid 2018. Oh, okay yeah and then knowing that like i've been budgeting since 2018. yeah it's and a long time <laughs> it is a long time i look back and it just kind of like I put myself down because I haven't finished paying off debt it's like you hear all these stories of people I mean every situation is different but you hear yeah. 
you know, they paid off like $100,000 in two months or something ridiculous like that. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can't pay off this amount, you know? But then I sit down and I look at the numbers and it's like, Chris and I have paid a lot more than the actual number that we started with. Cause mm -hmm. I think my first debt snowball video, we were at like 10K. So we were ten thousand dollars in debt. It's a lot more now. I don't even know the number. You know this, but my subbies don't. Is that Chris and I actually had a recent setback, a big setback, I would say. I won't be talking about it now, but you can expect it in the future. It just happened and we're so bummed about it. But yeah, another setback. There's a lot of setbacks on the journey. That's something that not a lot of people will tell you. At least I never heard it, you know? Yeah, you need your emergency fund for minor setbacks, but there's just so many more that nobody really talks about it, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely just a part of life, you know? And not that you want to expect them, but I, I think we come to realize that, you know, not everything goes according to plan, um, whether it be with work or school. You know, everything is, you kind of take it as it comes mm -hmm. and just kind of roll with it. Comment down below what you think my age is. I'm very Wait, have you really to never see. told them? No, they don't know. Oh. <laughs> what some major um, goals that you have set for yourself, either a uh, short term or kind of in the future? Yeah, and that was like one of the questions that you guys did ask, or a few, I guess. One of my main goals would have to be for Budget with Brie to start my own company. I don't have like all the specifics, <laughs> you know? I know that's a goal of mine. That would be my dream. That would be so amazing. Show them what you did. <laughs> I folded it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so that's a part of your set. <laughs> a hot dog fold, not hamburger fold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gonna... No, it's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that one didn't happen. I started this channel as a way just for me to show my style of budgeting. Like I literally never thought I would have as many subbies as I do now. I remember when you started it, you came into work and you were like, I have to tell you something. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> and you told me you started your YouTube channel. I feel like I've grown in a weird way. I remember I received an email from one of you guys and she was just saying how grateful she was for the channel and Thank you for sharing and all of that stuff and uh she was just being so sweet and then she's like i've noticed that you've like become more confident which is funny to say but like in front of the camera even though i don't even show myself i just show <laughs> my hands so i just thought that was really neat that she was able to, to tell. tell yeah that you guys are able to tell some of you guys have asked why i don't show my face i'm not kidding there's really not a reason <laughs> Like, well, now I, I'm more conscious about it, like not showing my face. But in the beginning, I was like, there's no reason to show my face. I'm just showing my budgeting. budgeting. Yeah. So I know I get that question a lot. And another question I get is, will I ever do a face reveal? Ooh. As of right now, I know I will eventually. Guess I what just, you think she looks like. I, <laughs> I just don't know when. I do not know when I would do that. And I actually know some of you guys told me to do spending with me in like a week or something. So it's like basically vlogging like every time you use your cash envelopes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But right now it's kind of hard because you can't really go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be vlog in 2021 when they let us out. Mm -hmm. Didn't somebody ask you about um, merch and like if you'd ever make stuff for your channel? Yes, they did. <laughs> Which is actually really funny that they asked that because let's just say something's in the works. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's nothing big, um, but I do hope you guys like it and I hope that, you know, it sells obviously.
Did you think that Hash envelopes were this much work? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what you were signing up for? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Thank you again for coming because literally just you helping, you being here, it's like <laughs> so much better. And the time goes by faster, you know? Yeah. Pre-COVID, me and Bree used to hang out all the time. Yes, <laughs> pre-COVID we did. So go ahead and comment down below if you guys have more questions for either me or Viviana here. You can go in and reply. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll let you guys know when they go on sale, along with some other things. Alrighty, everyone, and that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys like this video because I would like to continue it and make a series out of it. And definitely comment down below any questions that you guys have that you would like to see me and Viv or me and somebody else answer in the next episode. Viv, what did you think of today's video? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like people think of cash envelopes and they just think of, you know, a piece of paper. But it's like, there's so much work that goes into that and it's process. very time consuming, yes. It'll yes. be a while before we make more. Yes, it'll be a while <laughs> <laughs> before Viv joins us again. But thank you for helping me out today and agreeing to be in the video. It means You're a welcome. lot to me. Thank welcome. you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>